So when a tram passes, sometimes I get this thought. This uh, nagging little voice in my head. And I get that thought with tall buildings and high places. Okay, this isn't coming out how I thought it would. Uh, I spent over 15 years chasing my dreams as a filmmaker. And now I am old and I'm tired. I've had writer's block for a really, really long time. And uh, I'm, starting, I'm starting a vlog. It's a sad vlog, but it's a happy vlog at the same time. It's tracking my face, so you're not even on the camera because, see, it's only tracking me but if I move that way. I got married young, uh, lost a lot of money, destroyed myself financially, bounced back, finished feature films. Yes, that was the dream, to finish feature films. Thank you so much for this award. Let's make them play at film festivals all around the world, and yeah, yeah, I did all that. But no matter how much I achieved, I always had that thought, always, like a thorn in my side. Tram passing. Uh, high building. Uh, just, just intrusive thoughts that are always there, but rise to the surface when I feel like I have lost faith. When life is moving forward and I feel I have no control. But you wouldn't know. I smile a lot. I'm using this now. Yeah, I'm starting a sad vlog. And it was while editing the footage, he realized that this was the happiest he'd been in a very long time. But today something happened to me that reminded me of why I am still alive today. Something that gave me a little hope. I grew up on cinema, I love cinema. And it happened when I was on the tram. Long story short, I missed my stop. I missed my stop. I just forgot to get off the tram, that's all. But how would this small, insignificant moment be such a big thing to me? How could this be such a profound moment? Everyone's going on about their lives, millions of people in big cities, and this one small thing meant so much to me. You see, I missed my stop because I was writing. I was writing for the first time in a long time. You see, when I was in peak form, all I did was create. That's literally all I did. I spent 20, I, I would do 20 hour days and it didn't really matter because I was just so happy making things. Because when I'm creating, that's the only time in my life where all the pain and all the trauma and everything just disappears. So if you're watching this right now, know that I missed my stop because I was writing this. And know that I can't wrap this message up in a nice neat bow like most other people do because that's just not me. When I'm creating, the pain just seems to just disappear. This really is a beautiful city. Whoa, it's windy. Okay. 